Hello everyone, this is Grayshot, and uh, yes, I'm taking a look at this France scenario again, but uh, I have something uh, that comes to mind. It's this squandering its military budget on the measure line at li little little part really bugged me because really in the grand scheme of things, command really did it. The Maginot did well and actually would have held the Germans back if uh, the command didn't fall apart. But what if you had a brilliant leader leading the French troops to victory? What if they only went with the Maginot? I think we got victory immediately. We shall see. All right, hello everyone. This is Gray Shot. I am building only Maginot. That's right, it's pure Maginot. I'm going to show you guys the power of said Maginot. Uh, I can build recon only. I get any other units as bonus. Not really. Uh, for a major use, uh, so don't expect me to uh, be pumping out medium tanks or anything like that. Whatever I get, I get. That is it. Anyway, uh, let's move on then. Let's put up some light buildings to help guard the front. Uh, we have the Soviets kind of come in that flank. We'll kind of make sure that that area is secure. And uh, yeah, let's move up these tank destroyers kind of guard this general area. We're, we're gonna make a front line here to kind of keep them back and away from the city. The better that is, the longer we can kind of build out, um, which I think is a lot more beneficial. Um, we're gonna cover our buildings in the time being as well so we don't have bombers just constantly coming in to kill them. Uh, meanwhile, let's build that base. They'll be like here. Yeah. So if anything comes in that down that main road, it's pretty much a goner. Uh, let's also get some more money. Come on, money, 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 money. I need that money. Uh, recon would also be very good, but we need the money first. Uh, we can go around without recon, I believe. I think we'll be good. I think. Maybe. We'll see. Um, oh, good. All the supplies. Yes, good. There we go. Yeah, it's 1942 and I'm France. I don't think I'm going to be technologically advanced. Although, there's a lot of admins over here. I don't think I can hit them, but there's a lot of them right there. <laughs> if we're going only Maginot, that means no artillery. Who needs artillery? We have Maginot. Um, Alright, come on, supply trucks. I really need you on this one. Oh, damn. I didn't realize how, how front-facing that base was. That is really too far for its own good. Yeah, pull back. Well, the hold off the Panzers, that's good. That base will not live. Oh, let's uh, put that down. Let's put some more Maginot. Kind of just guarding over key points. That is currently being bombed. Yoink. No way you can see me. Okay, I was going to say, you shouldn't be able to see me. Oh, that was close. Up. Oh, I need to see them, though. All right, let's put up two of these light things, so that way we have anti-air. They went back to base like, yeah, we're done. All right, there goes the front base. That's fine. We expected that. Uh, looks like the infantry might be the biggest issue. We'll stop that. It's tracks. There's more going around, but we should be fine. The goal is just more anti-air. That is the goal. As much anti-air as possible so that way they can't deploy those recons. Did they just kill two of them or might might my crazy? All right. Might be crazy. Might not be crazy. Probably crazy. All right. Let's put let's build that right there. All right. Oh, pull back. We got that. Do we have more? Oh, we need a base over here. Okay, big boy base. There we go. Build that. We do need recon. That's absolutely a thing. They could try to hide or... Uh, they're bombing all that, aren't they? Well, some of it. Alright. Well, screw you too. Uh, get back, please. 
All right, luckily this base should protect it against the armor, so that's good. Um, oh, we got we got new units. Awesome, that's coming in. Perfect timing. Don't you dare bomb that. Oh, come on. Screw you. All right, we need more. Uh, we need more resources, so we'll make that. We also need more anti-air. We'll build that there. More. An We're building a ton of anti-air in the front. That's what I'm building. We're gonna kind of keep that in the front, and this will go out for recon, kind of like here. Uh, yeah, like that. Any other resources? We're not gonna go over there. That is a hell hole. That is hell. We're not going over to hell. What we will do is place a ton of anti-air, so that way we're good in that sector. Infantry's coming on in. We're fine for the time being. We need more anti-air. That's what we're gonna build. That's what we're gonna focus on. Base is still holding. Flamethrower! Oh, he's gonna go for the base, isn't he? Please don't. Oh, good. He he missed it. He he took he took a wrong turn. How do you see me? All right. Luckily, the recon wasn't some awesome bonus. That's good, I think. There we go. Anti-air be made. Oh my God! Get out of there! No! Don't you dare! Well, guess what? You take on one. I build two. No, three more. There go your stupid bombers. Spy will activate in the sector. All right, trying to go in. Get too late. We do need to build anti over here, because otherwise they're just gonna keep coming in. What from boardly? Oh, okay, they went into the city. Right, I forgot about that. That's that's apparently a. Th oh god damn it! Note to self. Don't build stuff right there. Oh, okay, never mind. Build one right there. Just keep shooting down the planes. Perfect. Planes have been knocked out. Very good to see. Very, very good to see. Like, any additional planes I can just kill is just a bonus for me. Let's see. I think I should be. they should be able to shoot. So we'll spy that. God damn! Well, at least we're shooting all the bombers down. Oh. Oh, good. It's all recon. We need more anti iron, right? Luckily, the planes are being instantly taken out. For every one they kill, I build three more. <laughs> that tiger's like, I got this. No, you don't. Whew. Look at our fort line. The Maginot's forming, boys. The Maginot is forming. Hit him! Come on! Oh, yeah. Blast that tiger to kingdom come. Oh, no. Well, Long Tom is preserved. That's cool, I think. It's fine, right? Oh, they just bombed everything. Oh, no. Well, there goes that base. Anti-air, anti-air, anti-air. Here we come, here we come.
There we go. Plane shot down. Oh, he's going for that one? That's not good. What the hell is that? Is that Italians? <laughs> they're not. They're not going to be alive, Italians. That's a positive. I'm like, I'm like organizing this Maginot line, like, hmm, I think a little to the left, a little to the right. Immediately get shot, go. Cool. Uh, the problem is this roadway, that's the problem, is they just pop up. Luckily that my guys are turning, and they're covered right now for the time being. Unfortunately, I can't see where the enemy's coming from, so nuclear long tom does not help when literally, oh no. They're gonna target! Oh wait, no, we have enough anti-air. Uh, please tell me they're not grouped up. Nope, but the planes are being shot down immediately. Alright, let's not go near the road. There we go. So many ones, so a little time. I love this one's like healed itself. Oh, the bombers are back. Guess what? You take us down, we take you all down. Oh, those bombers don't stand a chance now. Oh, hopefully they don't stand a chance. Jesus Christ. Look at the amount of buildings I have now. They can't even get there in time. Remember guys, make sure your Maginot's really uh, sticking together. Really does help. Alright, there, there's a unit I can see. Fire nuclear uh, long tom that way. Hopefully we get something good. Oh, we got a lot of dead units right there. That's a good hit right there. As stated, I feel pretty confident with my Maginot. Oh, they're trying to flank around. No, they don't. Ah, uh, yes, guys. Look at this glorious Maginot. Oh, that's Sply, actually. Yep, they're coming in along the flank. No, you don't. Alright, so back way, we'll make sure it's covered. Armor's coming up the mid. Nuclear artillery hit the Italians. I love the Italians are the ones that are revealing everything. That's hilarious. Oh my god. The turbines into town like well, good thing we have our decryption up. What decryption? Oh schnitzel. <laughs> Alright. Yes. More Magino. More Magino. So much Magino. Flamethrower should hit him? Eventually, maybe, maybe not. Actually, can you hit him all the way over there? Oh my god, you can. I've been, I've been not using AU to your full potential. I apologize. Oh my god. There goes the entire armor call. Oh. All right. It's like, guys, I think we're good. Oh, wait, we need more resources. Damn it. 
Uh, let's put down some ad those admins. Up, oh, went through the planes. Oh, there goes their entire economy right there. Hey, <laughs> we're already firing on it. All right, can you hit? Uh, no, it's a bit too close. Um, what can you? Oh, go here. Yes. Good. Oh, wait, there's only six seconds left? God, I think I did better with the Maginot line than I did in the other game. The, I, 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 I got, I mean, like, yes, the right side fell, but that's also because, well, the right side fell. I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I think the Maginot is overpowered. I, I, I think the Maginot is just superior to anything the Germans, Russians, or Italians could throw. God damn. All right. Uh, so fun fact, if France was in a situation where they needed to rely on the Maginot, with good command, Maginot would have been a great idea and a great use. But unfortunately, Maginot plus bad command equals terrible idea. But anyway, uh, tune in next time for another ruse operation. But otherwise, this is Grayshaw17, and I'll see you all next time. Hello, everyone. This is Grayshaw. Before I go, I want to give a special shout out to Patreon supporters Josh, Malam, Joey G240, Just Thomas Plays, Spartacus, Rifle, Junior Chicklist, Pyroshark, Ion, Ollie, Ace, GTA, and Jacob Oswai. Thank you all for your incredible support. This has been Grayshaw17 and his amazing patrons, and I'll see you all next time.